let us see first about uh, the definition of the capsule. How, how will you define a capsule? Now, capsule is like tablet. It is also solid unit dosage form. Okay. So, capsule is also solid. It is also a unit dosage form. Okay. In which what we do is one or more medicaments can be enclosed. Okay. And how is it shell? It is, the shell is water soluble biodegradable shell. So, in a water soluble biodegradable shell, what you do is you incorporate okay one or more medicament in order to form a solid unit dosage form okay and the shells are generally made from gelatin it is not necessary that the shells can be made from gelatin only but usually okay as as the name also goes hard gelatin capsule soft gelatin capsules so 99 percent of the time you know the the uh, capsule shell that you are consuming is made up made up from gelatin there are there are many reasons why you take gelatin as the uh, ingredient for preparation of capsule first of all it is biocompatible you know it very well uh, gelatin is used as food material also in order to make your uh, uh, curry etc thick in order to increase the viscosity of your preparation many a time gelatin is added your uh, chinese food most of the time it contains gelatin so it is uh, biocompatible it is very easily available it is uh, uh, it is soluble in water another thing uh, the speciality of it is it is soluble in water and at increased temperature it remains in the form of viscous solution so when you are manufacturing the hard gelatin capsule we are going to see how you manufacture hard gelatin capsule also so you, when you manufacture the capsules okay the it becomes very easier for you to manufacture so at 50 degrees celsius it uh, it remains as a viscous solution but as soon as the temperature comes down to 30 or it comes down to 35 degrees celsius it converts into a very nice uniform flip okay so it can it can form uh, it can form a uh, it can form a flim which can be converted into a capsule further okay and that is the reason uh, because of its many advantages gelatin is used as the material of choice apart from gelatin there are other materials also which are which can be used for just for an example hpmc hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose which are studied as a polymer that can also be used you can use cornstarch as uh, uh, material and many other material have been tried okay some of them are in literature okay whereby they have not been converted into gelatin okay just just in literature people have done the research and the and the capsule shell has not been prepared from it whereas some have been already tried and the capsule shells are available just for example hpmc the capsule shell of HP, hpmc is also available capsule shell of cornstarch is also available in the market the major disadvantage that gelatin has okay why gelatin is not been used is because it is it is it is prepared from animal okay so uh, the people of particular region just for example jains etc who who do not consume the uh, animal products etc for them uh, uh, the capsule is uh, for them the uh, non gelatin capsules are very useful so the so the only advantage gelatin has is about its uh, source from where it is prepared okay that is a major disadvantage of your gelatin now how is the word capsule derived from the word derived the word capsule is derived from the word capsula okay capsula in latin it means a small container or small box as you see how is capsule capsule is like a small box and in this small box the medicaments are uh, medicaments are uh, put inside the small box. So, capsule is derived from the from the Latin word that is capsula. Now, uh, uh, capsule is divided into two main categories. You have two types of capsule. You have hard gelatin capsule. We are going to see the difference in detail, but just to uh, uh, just to tell you the major difference, hard capsule, hard gelatin capsule, or hard capsule is of two pieces. You have a cap, okay, and you have a body right the normal capsule that you have seen so you have a cap and a body so this type of capsule is known as a hard gelatin capsule whereas a soft gelatin the normal capsules that you see because silica capsule job that is nothing but a hard gelatin capsule whereas a soft gelatin capsule pudin hara you must have seen okay 
a soft gelatin capsule doesn't have a cap and a body it is a one piece okay does not consist of two pieces like cap and body whereas hard gelatin capsule consists of two pieces that is uh, that is cap and a body okay there are other differences also that hard and soft gelatin capsule has uh, as the name goes the uh, the shell that is the uh, uh, capsule shell in hard gelatin capsule is hard in nature whereas uh, in soft gelatin capsule it is very soft in nature that can be done by addition of plasticizers etc so you add a lot of lot of plasticizers to the soft uh, uh, soft gelatin uh, so, so the gelatin in order to make it soft in nature hard gelatin capsule usually okay nowadays though you add uh, liquids though you add semi solid in the hard gelatin capsules but hard gelatin capsule usually are preferred for powders you can add powders into it you can add powders plus tablet into it or you can add granules into it okay so for basically for solid material you you prefer hard gelatin capsule whereas for uh, 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 for liquid tetra liquid semi solid preparation you use soft capsules uh, semi solid preparation just to give you an example the uh, the uh, ointment which comes for cataract is in the form of soft gelatin capsules hard gelatin capsule is having one shape only isn't it you have a you have the cap and a body so the shape is like a this kind of a shape you have for a capsule that is one shape only that is present for hard gelatin capsules if you take soft gelatin capsules the sizes may differ in hard gelatin capsules the sizes differ but the shape is similar whereas if you take a soft gelatin capsule you can have different different shapes you can have a round shape you can have a oval shape like you have for a hard gelatin capsules okay and uh, uh, you can have a, a tube like shape so you have a, a, a tube like of shape this type of a shape which is there so you can have different different types of shape for a soft gelatin capsules but you have a single shape for a hard gelatin capsule that is the oval shape okay so these are some of the differences between a hard gelatin and a soft gelatin capsule moving further let us talk about some of the advantage of capsules as such right the uh, whatever the advantage of tablets are there okay just for example unit dose that is there with the uh, capsules it is having stability it is having because it also contains the uh, because the dosage form is totally packed inside the uh inside the uh, capsule box isn't it so that's why the, there is increase of stability it is also easy to uh, easy to handle as you have for tablets and also it is also economical okay because you don't require any bottle etc is not required for it okay hence it is having all the advantage capsule is having all the advantages of a uh, tablet that is unit dose stability easy to carry easy to handle economical no breakages etc all the properties of tablet it is having apart from that it is having one more advantage okay that is not there with the tablet that is easy to swallow if you see the if you see the shape of the capsule okay the oval shape of capsule makes it very easy to swallow more so ever it is having a very smooth and slippery nature because of the smooth and slippery nature also these are very easy to swallow as compared to tablets i don't say that tablets are difficult to swallow but as compared to tablets also they are busy, very easy to swallow the one point that i have not mentioned over here i forgot to mention over is about the bioavailability if you compare with tab uh, with uh, your tablets then these uh, these are easily bioavailable why because when the, once this capsule goes inside the stomach they break into the cap and body they get separated from each other and as the cap and body get separated from each other whatever the powders are there okay they are getting liberated so disintegration as such, as you if you are filling powders into a capsule therefore disintegration as such can be avoided okay it is just splitting of a capsule uh, what do you call that cap and body that has been required okay and me, as sir. yeah there is a doubt should i ask now uh once i finish with the advantage okay okay, okay fine so uh, so that is another advantage of bioavailability okay so capsules are more readily bioavailable okay as compared to that of tablets if you are filling powder inside the capsule shell 
Now, uh, another advantage that capsule has it, capsule is tasteless. Please remember, in order to make your tablet tasteless, you have to coat it. But here, the capsule shell itself is tasteless. So, the dosage form is tasteless. It is odorless and it can be easily administered as we talked about earlier. Okay. So, the drug that is having unpleasant odor and taste, okay, can be easily enclosed inside the tasteless shell, tasteless and odorless shell. It can be easily incorporated. Then, in, inside a capsule, you can add, uh, add many things. You can add powders into a capsule. You can add powders plus you can add tablet inside it. Okay, you can add granules inside the tablet. So, there are many things that can be added and, and in, inside the soft gelatin capsules, you can also add liquids, you can also add semi-solid preparation. So, these all can, all can be incorporated inside the capsule. Okay, that is another advantage that it has. It has. Uh, one more advantage that it has is it can be very quickly filled and convenient. It can be uh, filled very quickly and conveniently. What this ensures is, this ensures easy bulk manufacturing. So, bulk manufacturing is possible. Let us go to the disadvantages of the capsule. Now, uh, uh, one of the disadvantages of capsule it is having is the, about the hygroscopic drug. Hygroscopic drugs cannot be incorporated inside the capsule. Okay. Why it cannot be incorporated? Because the hygroscopic drug, okay, if it is incorporated inside this capsule, so let us assume this is a hygroscopic drug. Then this hygroscopic drug absorbs the moisture that is present inside the capsule. As I have said, near about 1 to 2 percent of moisture, okay, or to the tune of 5 percent of moisture maximum. It is not present, maybe maximum, okay. This much amount of moisture is present inside the capsule, okay, which makes the capsule flexible in nature, okay. It does not make the capsule brittle in nature, it, it, it prevents the capsule from becoming brittle in nature. This moisture from the capsule may be absorbed by this uh, by this hygroscopic substance that you are adding inside it okay and as it absorbs moisture what is going to happen this capsule shell now okay this capsule shell it is now going to become brittle and it is ultimately going to crumbling into pieces okay so that is the reason why your hygroscopic substances they cannot be added into your capsule shell now, also, uh, if you see, you cannot add the concentrated substances, okay? Like there are some substances which need, uh, which, uh, which needs to be diluted and then it is required to be consumed. If you take a tablet, then you can do that. So, you take a tablet, you can dissolve it into water and you can consume it or you can dilute it and you can consume it. The same can be, uh, the same can be uh, in the case of liquids, etc. You have some, uh, just for example, if you take gargles, right? In gargles, what to do is you can do dilutions. So, dilutions are possible. In case of tablet also, dilution is possible. In case of liquids also, the dilution is possible. But in case of capsules, the dilution is not possible. Okay. Hence, if you take the concentrated substances in the form of uh, uh, capsules, then it may cause irritation to the stomach. Okay. 